Hey, this is for those of you with Windows laptops with a decent NVIDIA graphics card that want to dabble in Ethereum mining, um, because that's exactly what I did, was just as a beginner, had a decent computer, wanted to see how to mine Ethereum, and just Googled my way through it, and this was the way that I found that got me up and running. So the first thing you're going to need is an Ethereum wallet or a crypto wallet that accepts Ethereum. I use Coinomi. Um, regardless of which wallet you use, just go in there and make sure that you have the receive address. Um, and then once you have that, then you'll need a mining pool because if you're using a laptop, your computer um, will almost certainly not be strong enough to do anything meaningful by yourself. And the, what I use here is ethermine.org. You go up to the ETH um, button up here and go to start mining. Uh, down here, the next thing you'll need is the actual Ethereum mining software. You're going to download Ethminer, or you can try to figure out these if you'd like, but I used Ethminer. It's going to bring up a GitHub page. You're going to go to this top link, and then I downloaded this option because it matched to my computer, just Windows AMD 64. Download it and unzip it. You may have to pause your antivirus software because almost every mining software will get flagged as um, malware. So just a heads up on that. Once you unzip it, you'll have a file that looks like this. And then you'll have a bin file that you'll open up. And you'll have these two files in there. And the next step is to create this file. So open up a text editor. I use Notepad++. And then copy and paste this code that I'll put in the show notes into your um, text editor. And then what you'll want to change is this code right here will need to be your receive address for your Ethereum wallet. And then you can also change after this at sign this server address to any one of these that you like. I've opted for US1 I believe. Yep, but if your miner doesn't work at first you may want to try just changing the server in case one of the servers are down. And then finally you need a colon 4444 regardless of what server you pick because that is the stratum port that you'll be using. Don't even know what that means, but I just know that's how I got it to work. Once you get all this copy and pasted in here and this changed over, you're going to save it as a .bat file. I chose to name mine start.bat, but I don't think it matters what you name it, but I use start, so you may want to just try to start with that. Close it, and it should be in this file if you saved it into this file location, and you'll double click. It will bring up the command window and you should see it start mining here soon and here you go this computer is now mining ethereum and if you want to check this it's probably not going to show up quite yet but you can go to miner address this is that same address that that i use because it's my receive ethereum address you'll drop it into this miner address and it's going to show you your stats on mining Right now it says I have zero active users. This will show as one active user here probably in the next two to five minutes. It usually takes, there's a little lag time before it shows up. But I'll uh, pause the video here and then just bring it back up once it, it starts showing the stats. All right, so I'm back. It's actually fi basically 15 minutes in. I haven't checked since about 10 minutes. So sometime between 10 minutes and 15 minutes, I actually show a worker active here. So it took a little longer than the five minutes I said. Um, this is your estimated earnings for that mining session, I believe. And then this is the unpaid balance. And you can change how often you get paid out. I get paid out every time this hits 0 .01. So it takes a fair amount of time or letting my computer run for a fair amount of time before I get paid out. Um, but I have been paid out. Um, at least two times so far. I was actually using Phoenix Miner then, and it's a little bit uh, better than the Eth Miner, but I guess there's some concerns around the 
um, authorship of Phoenix Miner, so I got rid of it just to be safe. But this is how you can mine using a regular Windows laptop with a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card as a beginner. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.